Hi there, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a very beautiful typographical text effect just like what you just watch using Canva. So you're going to do that with Canva and I'm going to show you everything step by step. Let's jump right into this. So when you open Canva, just go to create a design and then you can use custom size. For the custom size, I'm going to stick to 920 by 1080 pixels. And then you go to upload. And then you add your images you can see i have my bed which a bed which i downloaded online this is it that is what i've uploaded you can just click on the upload here and click on upload files and then add that so i'm going to add it to my screen like this and then also what i'll do is i want to remove the background so select your image and go to edit image and then use this property bg remover it to remove the background of this image So now we have our image without the background you can resize it to fit on the screen like this perfect and then what we we'll do is that let's look for a colorful background if you want to get a colorful background we can do that just go to element and then search for colorful background so just select that and then go to photos and i can pick from any of this colorful background any of them i'm going to use this one and then set this as the background image so it's going to give me something like this which is very amazing all i would do is to go to share and then download this just leave it as png and then download it after downloading it after downloading it upload it back to canva Okay, I've added it. So I'm going to add an, another page. So click on add page. And over here, we're going to add the image back and then let's set it to background. So click on set as background like this. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to add our text on top of that. Whatever text you want to do, you can go to element and then just search for frame. So search for frame and then go to all, see all. And then here, whatever text you want, just type the text over there so my one is going to start with a b so just search for that and then start adding those text on top of this just start adding them like that so the next text is going to be i so i'm just going to continue on that it's going to be i so i'm just going to keep adding them in that order i'm just going to keep adding them like this then r will follow so this is how it's going to be and then i need a d Okay, so this is what's gonna happen and I'm gonna place it next to this like this and I think everything is well positioned now now we go back to upload and then we actually gonna add this back on top but this time around we're gonna place it inside the elements one after the other so this is what I'm going to do I'll place it on the D and it's gonna appear like this but make sure you double click on this and then make sure you resize it to fit on the screen so it should fit exactly as the same size of the first one so you should be having something like this make sure you have it perfectly fitted on this like this don't worry if you can't see the text we'll get it back so do that for the rest so i'll go on the next one double click on that and then make sure you resize this just resize and make sure it fits exactly on the screen like this okay We'll do that for the next one, which is going to be the eye. Double click, double click, and then resize as well. You want to get a perfect job, so just be sure your resizing go as expected. So, yeah, so make sure everything is well aligned. And then finally, we'll add it to the first letter here. And then we'll probably do the same thing here. So resize this. So resize this. So you should be getting something like this. Okay. So that is this. When you are done with everything, the background image here we can delete it. So when you delete it, you should be getting something like this, which is amazing. When you delete the background, you should get something like this. And now we need to download this as a PNG file with a transparent background. So go back and then go to download and make sure you check 
transparent background but we want to download we have two pages now we want to download just the second page so just uncheck the first page and then let's download this okay so after that yeah make sure you so after that so after that make sure you upload it back to canva make sure you upload that to canva and then let's add the final page let's add the third page as well and then what we want to do is that let's add this image back to our screen and then also remove the background again so select and make sure you remove the background again let's remove the background again make sure the size is the same don't do any change to that so i'm going to remove the background so i should be getting something like this let's go back to upload and then this is the text we uploaded so make sure what you do here is to resize this right on the screen like this and then this is going to give you something like this just amazing so this will give you something like this this is going to give you something like this so all we need to do now is make sure you select your text and then you want to go to edit and then what we want to do is that scroll down to shadow option and then we can add some glue effect to our text like this so you can see we should be getting something like this we should be getting something like this you can actually do some adjustment and make sure this will fit exactly on your text okay make sure this fit exactly on your text so you should be getting something like this but all we want to do is that for the blue effect just scroll down and then for the size you can actually reduce the size of the blue effect and you can change the color if you want to change the color also you can actually change the color like this you can change the color so you can see this is going to make it even appear better you can also improve on the intensity so this should be giving you something like this all you have to do is to make sure you play with this and then it should give you a perfect job just as you are seeing right now so this is basically the concept of doing that so at the end of the day you should be getting something like this like subscribe for more amazing video tutorials like this and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials so like come away again bye bye